All right, I want to do a quick recap of the strategies this week. We'll look at the actual results in a spreadsheet, and then we'll go and look at the charts. 25K portfolio, these are the trades this week. There's some slight arithmetic errors that I've had last week. So if you see this week's gain added to last week's uh, monthly gain and a slight difference, there was, there was some arithmetic on it, errors on a few of these. And so um, try to get that right, but sometimes when you put these spreadsheets together, that happens. Anyways, the um, trades this week, the biggest winner is SR Countertrend Gold. Cobra 3 had one nice trade, actually a very small trade. Uh, Tick Pulse has been the uh, big winner on the month. You see that 4100 on 20 trades, the Force Limited Commission, and almost $200 a trade on average. Uh, and the biggest losers were the crude oil, after hours and crude oil weekly inventories. Those were just crazy. We'll talk more about those in a minute when we take a look at the charts. So about 452.50 this week on 25 trades puts us at around break even, a little bit less than break even, and 47.50 most of that coming from Tick Pulse on 70 trades. Um, if you take out slip $25 round turn slippage commission, you get $3,000 um, on on the month for the trade signals for the 25k portfolio, 50k portfolio. Only difference is you're adding these two systems: Cobra Crude Oil V3, SR Counter Trend. Crude 800 profit target, and that was down. Those two were are down on the month. They didn't take any trades this week, actually. So, um, same same results on the week because those two additional systems did not take trades. 23.75 on the month after slippage and commission. 43.50 before, and sometimes when you have a bigger portfolio and more systems, sometimes your losses are greater, and you underperform smaller portfolios. And then when you do well, you can outperform those and so 100k portfolio we add these additional five strategies here you see it accumulates you know the the 25k portfolio is to here and then the 50k portfolio is to here and then the 100k portfolio you add these additional five strategies and you can see there is um, an additional gain of about nine Nine hundred and fifty dollars um, with gold spike to surge exit and swing soybean mill and thirty five seventeen fifty on the month ninety two trades twelve seventeen fifty after slippage and commission and the million dollar portfolio which is uh, seven contracts of everything except swing soybeans EVP two one M gold and gold spike two money management surge exit. There's some arithmetic errors on multiplying contracts as well. Two two contracts or seven contracts, and you get thirty-two thousand one hundred sixty dollars on five hundred eighty-four trades, which is seventeen five sixty on the month after slippage and commission for the trade signals using twenty-five dollars round turn slippage and commission. So, those are the trades and the signals, walk forward signals, and we're gonna take a look at the results. Here are the base five systems for the 25K portfolio. Cobra 3, you see that small long trade there, not much going on. Um, overall, the last trades were these short trades before that. It's very selective. SR Counter Trend, you can see that took three trades this week. So it had a nice, nice profitable week. As we saw, it doesn't look like much, but it doesn't take much in gold um, to be profitable or have a loss. Small moves can be significant gains or losses. Cobra Euro, no trades. Soybeans day trade three. Uh, did that have trades? I can't remember. No, it, did, it didn't have any. Soybeans day trade three didn't have any trades this week. Cobra Euro didn't have any trades. Gap continue to be. No trades this week. Nothing to look at there. Um, here are the bonus strategies. We'll take a look at Tick Pulse. This is the big winner. It only had three trades this week for $800. And so it was a pretty slow week slow grind higher in the stock indexes so you, you get some long trades here um, it's hard to see the whole trade in one chart with 15 second charts and then you get that trade and then a short trade and then a short and a long that's la actually the 11th is last week so um, you see some of the trades here and so $800 on three trades overall for this week and Got Phil Fade, E-mini S&P from our book. Monday had kind of a scratch break-even trade. And 
crude oil gap fill in reverse on crude oil was up 610 this week on three trades so it had some had that nice short trade stepping in front of freight trains it's hard to hard to take those trades uh, this was a if you're watching the tape during this it was a huge rally off the of lows market came down here at the 4220 level and just it just rallied and we rolled over to January crude this week as well and so those shorting those two freight trains was slightly profitable and this trade right here was um, a small so was a small loss we got at uh, 4601 we entered in at 4599 so two ticks and after slippage and commission that was this includes slippage and commission so it's twenty dollars profit but it shows a red line there meaning negative because we take out twenty five dollars on slippage and commission for these reports in the portfolio and um, the ones for the portfolio calculator the ones in the spreadsheet um, I showed you the results without slippage and commission and then with slippage and commission summed up these are the other strategies in the portfolio the include the 50k and are either in the 50k or 100k portfolio and you see a stock index swing the last trade was here was long and you see swing soybeans mill it was down this week grains have been choppy lately no trades in uh, soybean swing SR counter trend crude oil no trades gold spike 2 is having a bounce back year you see that trade on Friday um, let me turn the algorithm back on sometimes those algorithms get turned back off and on when you um, lose a DLL so they get turned off and on when the computer may lose connection over the weekend so it's Sunday before the markets open when I make this and so it's 715 plus uh, $200 better um, it's a counter trend system obviously shorting that move up um, and so EV2 gold did it take any trades this week it it did not take any tr trades this week and Cobra crude did not take any trades this week so those are the other systems these three workspaces that I showed you include all the systems in either the 25k um, 50k 100k million dollar portfolio and that is the update going forward and I get this question one of the questions I get all the time is you have a lot of stuff on your website what is the one system you recommend and that would be tick pulse you need real-time e-mini S&P real-time in real -time NYSE if you don't have that you will get um, you may not mix it, mix symbols of different delays and so this is the one strategy that has a low drawdown and the one the one caveat is is that we don't have as much history so um, the, the we don't in TradeStation you can go back a long ways on one minute charts or higher but when you get below one minute you have about six months of data uh, I was able to manage to get um, 14 months of data because some of the data is cached and um, so good results going back a year and the principle is a principle that's worked on higher time frames and we've narrowed it down on smaller time frames because the markets are faster these days and so one system to trade and that is tick pulse e mini s p also we did not look at these two I wanted to save these two for the last um, I'm gonna as experimenting 15 second charts I'm going to change that back so change this back to one minute chart at CL I was experimenting there um, so th this this the after hours and inventories report I had a tough time crude oil is really choppy sometimes that market can act like a um, almost like you're in a rodeo and it's a wild bucking bull just trying to throw you off your positions but let me show you some of these trades here um, just extreme extreme trades um, I, I updated this to um, I'm working on update for version 2 which has a max daily entries the problem is um, is if there's more than one trade in a bar it doesn't know that so let me show you here you can change this to one max daily entries because the stop loss is $300 so it's nice when you have a system that has a $300 stop loss and all my time trading that's about as small of a stop loss as you can work with on most trading systems so if you trade once per day with a $300 stop loss your risk is about as low as you can go on a day trade system and so if you're you're putting yourself in a position to cut your cut your losses quickly and ride your winners then um, that that's one of the best ways to do it the only problem is I'm on one minute bars and if I have max daily entries 
the, the rule that I set here was if entries today of date is less than two. We well, see there's three trades there because they is on an end of bar basis, and so because the entries happen twice in one bar, there's no way to fix this unless I zoom down even further on on a less than one minute chart. But then you get into issues of using up more memory, not having as much data to back test and other additional rules there that I haven't gone to yet. So you could make, if you said if, if max daily entries is less than one, then it would have only taken this one trade. But if you said max daily entries is less than two, then it would have taken three trades. You have to be aware of the fact that it can still take more than two trades if that trade, if, it, if, if it tr two trades are triggered on one bar. And so I don't know how to program around that. I don't know if there's a way to program around that. I have to check with my programmer. But you basically tell it on this bar if the next you're 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 designing this so that the next bar the rules you trade on the next bar. So on this bar it's saying, okay, max daily entries is less than one. And so when it gets to this bar it can take as many trades that occur. It could if it could hypothetically could whip whip around in that one minute bar, which is very rare um, it's rare to see a one-minute bar at this time of day have this kind of price action. The high was 46.62, the low is 46.13. So you're talking almost 50 points, a 49-point range in one minute, and so that's extreme. And so what you can you can reduce the max daily entries to one if you want, or even two. Um, we'll take a look at the same. Some of the same stuff happened in. Crude oil weekly inventories, and we change this back to at CL. I was experimenting on that as well. So I've changed that back to at CL one minute, and crude oil weekly inventories can trade on Wednesday or Thursday. Natural gas trades on Thursday, and sometimes that fires off crude oil. And on Wednesday, we had this extreme, move, some more extreme movement in crude oil around news. It's just it's been an extreme week, and not bad. You know, the first trade was a short loss, and then we reversed on a long trade and hit our profit target. And then um, we had one, two, three more trades. That's not really the intent of the strategy is to just keep firing off trades. Basically, it's a breakout for 30 minutes on, on Wednesdays. It's, it's 30 minutes from 10.30 to 11, and a plus or minus to close at 10.30. And so here we are just firing off. You don't usually see this much price action in such a short window. Um, down and then up and then hitting its profit target and firing off and so I've made available the um, max daily entries if you want if you have the subscription I'm going to be sending this to you the version 3 for this and the version 2 for the after hours so you can change the max daily entries if you want I'm going to show you that turn this status off the portfolios are keeping the current configuration because I hate to um, flip out uh, to a new system in the middle of a losing streak and I want to stay with the current configuration for the portfolios but if you want on your discretion to change this you can if you want to limit to one or two max daily entries keeping in mind that uh, any one minute bar that fires off and a huge wide range could uh, actually do more than one do more than your max daily entries as long as you understand that and so if this max daily entries input on both of these, and I'm sending out the updates for your discretion if you want to limit your trades. And um, that's the that's the updates for the portfolios. We'll keep monitoring. We'll keep monitoring this. I'll also put those updates in the algorithmictradingsystems.com membership website. When you purchase the book, you have the option to be a part of the membership site. In the membership site, you can purchase it down here. If you've already purchased the book, you can you can purchase the membership site there. If you haven't purchased either, you can get both here on algorithmictradingsystems.com. And what that will let you do is it will let you download the code from the book. And it will let you download the code from Crude Oil After Hours and Crude Oil Weekly Inventories. And if you're part of the membership site for algorithmictradingsystems.com, I will be uploading the easy language. And you'll have access to download that code um, for the Max Daily Entries update. And so keep checking back if you don't see it today it should be there by tomorrow and I want to give you the portfolio updates um, that's the 25k 50k 100k and million dollar portfolio updates I'm trying to do this on a weekly basis now 
so you can stay updated on the walk forward results.